Hey there folks, I'm Mysterious JG and welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. I was away from the Xbox for a while, so I don't know how much time may have passed here, but let's let's leave camp and head back to our good friend Nigel West Dickens. I'm vaguely planning to finish his mission chain than oh wait. More stranger danger. Funny man. Ragged man. I vaguely uh, planning to finish his mission chain and then do Seth's and lastly the Marshals. And even though Funny Man has reappeared, uh, the sheer distance between uh, Nigel West Dickens' missions and any of the other missions means I want to go ahead and knock his out. Well, thank you, Nigel West Dickens, for. I'm glad that we got to see you taking a piss. I uh, do not believe I ever noticed that before. If you come up on him from behind, he will be urinating sometimes. The sport of kings and liars. Sometimes kings and liars are the same. Mr. West Dickens! What up, Gangston? Ah, Mr. Marston! Oh, okay, How he's. Wonderful to see you, he's sir. King is part of the cinematic, How too. Wonderful. Why did we shake then? his hand? I Yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely, nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some. I mean, we knew what he was doing. My old Trojan horse here. You, you what? Uh, never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so yep. I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now. Or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I Why is he knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> subterfuge. I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy! I'll show you the way! And so we can keep you, of them. That's okay, good. all things considered, hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Mm -hmm. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Although if Nothing we'd not been there last it. time. I'd say they saw right through you. Yeah. Ah, before knowledge comes out, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, West Dickens. I resent that invocation, John. Well, an invocation was a statement. Implying. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling. Exactly. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so, cave. are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. Yeah. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We well, actually, we haven't been far. shot at yet. No, I mean us. Ridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Breach, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill team. Williams. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. Oh, you come need to on. realize what's at stake here. He's a fun guy. Know, John, sure, we had to kill 30 people to just keep him alive, but... this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. I believe this is the last mission for him that's separate from the, it is, John. the other characters. Fork. Exciting, but yeah, no, he's like he's he's like I'm not gonna let a few ignorance uh, pull me away from my calling. But like, had we not been there last time, he would have died. We basically saved his life a couple times over now. And I'm fine with him not being terribly grateful, but uh, that seems weird. Line up at the start position. All right. Oh, there's a saloon here. I wonder if this is like a real functioning town. Can't beat a good horse. Can't beat a good horse. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, 
Stabbing, lift pushing, rocks throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. All right, you guys. So this shouldn't be too bad, because I believe we'll have a better horse than the other characters will. But I don't know that for sure. We do want to stay on the... Guy, I'm not really doing that good right now, am I? Are there are items you can use to restore your horse's stamina. Which I'm not really using any of. I'm just trying to manage the horse's stamina. Do me a favor, folks. Keep an eye on that blue meter, and if it starts to get really low, shout at your screens, and I'll hear you. I seem to have this one rather well in hand once we break out of the pack. I shouldn't be talking all confident. That's a good way to screw it up, but it seemed to be uh, well and truly behind us. Let's just not lose the, uh, the trail here. Definitely have the section where we were well positioned to fall off. And as in all horse races, whether with Bonnie McFarlane or with a group of men gambling for money, you must always cross a bridge at one point. Okay, let the horse get a little stamina back. Okay, they're uh, catching up to me now. catching up. Got to push a little bit here. A little bit of a straightaway here. Can try to get some ground. I love the soundtrack of this game. I'm not sure this was the right way to go up high as opposed to down low. I guess it didn't really matter there. Uh oh. Shoot. Got a little turned around there. Oh shit. Shit. Time is left. Okay, back under control now. Sort of. Got a little confused about which path to take there. This is, after all, the first time I've raced this mission in this playthrough, which means it's the first time I've attempted this mission in, like, many years, so I do not have a good recall of the path or anything like that. Come on. Keep it together. Oof. I almost screwed that up. With, that's, with this horse, it should have been easy. I did not do a particularly great job there. But. Uh, yes, one Seth and Irish have furnished their side. Irish of the did his bit already. We should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? The magnificent four. Uncle, grave robber and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Well, which one are you, John Mostern? Violent murder man? Hello. Hello. Is that my horse? Yeah, this is my horse. I wasn't sure. It seemed to be following that other guy. So we got horseshoes. We got hand grenades. This is a little little mini town, I suppose. Uh, the real question is, is this a viable property? 
or it's vacant or is it rentable? If it's, uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a, a safe one up in the center of the world. Like I kind of vaguely intend to buy all the purchasable property eventually. Hello. But we do have a little town here. Yeah, $100. Well, we just made $100 or so on our last video. So we can... Uh, is this considered theft or is this our... It's in the hallway, so I don't know if it's considered ours or not. But we got money. Is there a hundred dollars worth of stuff in here? Not hardly. Actually, that was a, not a bad haul. So, having finished the uh, horse quest, let's save our game. And, uh... Like John Marston does need a woman, but not that particular one. There's a wanted poster. And who are you to judge? That's what I want to go ahead and steal with this side quest. That's all right. He's, he's upset. Hey, partner, I need your help. You and every other fool around here. No, they yeah. took her. They took my love. They stole Jeff's heart, and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking they about, took, friend? They took my love. They took Jeff's love by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. It's going to turn out to be a can pig or something. Me, partner? partner, can you help me? Oh, I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. I have a soul. <laughs> Break free from where I tied you up, horse. There you go. All right, let's see if we can't help this guy and rescue his pig or whatever. <laughs> I have a very strong feeling. I mean, the, the quest is called Who Are You to Judge? There's going to be something weird going on. I suppose it could be as simple as uh, he's, he's a homosexual, the old West, but I doubt it. I think we're I think we're heading towards something a little bit weirder than that. Because that's not really that weird. I already drove him. One of my subscribers who I already drove away because they got upset by something I said about. I think I believe they misinterpreted what I was trying to say about it being a man's world when a woman can be as vilified as Hillary Clinton was and Donald Trump can win the presidency despite some of the horrible things he said. But that particular uh, subscriber who I think is already. Uh, oh, it was a gang hideout, eh? It's already left. Might be offended if I... Um, why am I even going down this road? Yeah, I think we're about to find out that this guy is uh, having sex with animals. Which... Um, most people would agree is weird. But there are people out there who... Um, who are into it. Maybe the guy's a furry. Maybe we're going to find that... Oh, well, there's coyotes about. I probably want to get back on my horse. Maybe we're going to find uh, that it's not an animal. It's just a person in an animal costume when we go to uh, try to rescue this person. So this is a bandit hideout, I guess. Certainly it's a graveyard. Oh, maybe it's going to be a corpse. No, we're moving away from the graveyard. Yeah, I figured we'd have to fight some gangsters, but... Uh, 
believe I am. Although you sound like a lady, so maybe it's not as weird as I thought. What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I've seen him at Raskeller Fork. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Ball man shot him about a month ago. Huh. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave themselves medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then Can where I see is your she? face at some point? Who? What a Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Who's Jeb? She said and Short smiled in hair, a special way. Mustache. <laughs> oh my, oh my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. <sighs> Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gon' made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come on then. All right, follow me. Okay, so. Come on. I guess uh, she took it off of him and is now. I don't get it. I really don't get it, but it doesn't seem like uh on, easy up now. Doesn't seem like I should never have listened to that crazy fool. Mercy mission. Huh. So did Jeb offer you some kind of reward for this? Why did she take no, the horse and why is she so willing to bring it out. back? Well ain't you the sweetest thing? I'm just like you. A real sweetheart. Maybe they, we can get together, lady. Maybe you can give me a reward, if you know what I'm saying. I gotta ask, mister. Didn't Jeb strike you as being kind of funny? Uh, how funny or... out here strike me as being kind of funny. But Jeb, he's a special type of funny, I'd say. I'm inclined to agree with you, mister. So neither of them realize that he's gonna fuck this horse, you huh? good, mister. I'm glad you find it so amusing. Yeah, nobody, nobody seems to, nobody really seems to care that he's clearly gonna fuck this horse. Miss, are you speaking of that horse? <laughs> well, Jeb sees something in her, doesn't he? You think he's gonna have flowers waiting for her? There's some things I'd rather not think about. Mister, I gotta thank you. Remember this one for a long time. I really don't have much going on in my life, Mister. Mister, Mister, you found her, mister. Oh, I found her, all right. Come here, girl. Come to daddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. Yeah, he's going to fuck so that horse, strong. folks. You're such a lady. I long to hold you. I missed you so much. Is he Gulliver? Is this problems, like the, the end of Gulliver's no Travels? Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's move on. I don't Can think you want to see what these two got planned. So if I try to steal this horse, is he going to freak out? Yeah, he actually... Whoa. I, uh... I didn't kill anybody. Jesus. Well, I was gonna... <laughs> so I guess that counted as horse theft. I suppose that, that would make sense. Um, that is a rentable property. Here's another rentable property. Well, let's see if by the time we get to the funny man, we'll I'll be allowed to help him. Because with my with my super high honor level, I believe I'm okay with playfully. I was gonna do that. Um, I was gonna grab that wanted poster, but now I don't really want to save my game up there. I don't. I don't want to be hanging out there in case that's that spurs somebody to tell the law to come on after me. 
So there's a whole aspect of this game I've never really experienced where you can actually be a desperado fighting the cops, but... And it is possible, I believe, at least in... Uh, I know that in, in the multiplayer universe, it's possible to form gangs and rob trains. I don't really know how you would rob a train in this game. I don't believe you can just, like, run up to them and hijack them. That was uh, rather clumsily done. Decided to ram right into a house. So yeah, he certainly did freak out when I tried to steal the horse. I suppose I should have seen that one coming. But, you know, it was kind of us to reunite him with his uh, Catherine the Great style love. Oddfellow's Arrest. The oddly named Oddfellow's Arrest. Hey there, horsey. I'm not going to, or doe, deer, female deer. I'm not going to go after you for you, however, I'm randomly, nah, fuck it. I don't feel like hunting anything right now. you cross my path like that, you're tempting fate. save just in case before we do funny man just in case uh, this next funny man quest is uh, somehow dangerous matter of fact we can save and then teleport just, I, I keep forgetting that you can teleport around the map in this game and there's generally not a lot of penalty for it. Now, in in Undead Nightmare, not only do you not fast travel, I believe, um, also towns get attacked by zombies at fixed intervals of time. So if you are running around goofing off and not accomplishing anything and using a lot of campsites and causing the day-night cycle to advance, you can create more work for yourself because you're supposed to go around keeping towns safe from zombies. But we're not playing Undead Nightmare. Where the hell did I teleport to? Okay, we're close. We're close to this quest. I thought, like... I thought we'd end up in, like, entirely the wrong direction. Why did we end up so high up? Is he gonna be in this canyon, or...? Yeah, he's down below us. We gotta find a way to get down there without killing our horse. Let's go. So I'm not sure if he's gonna turn out to be in some kind of danger. There were dingoes of some kind over there. I don't know the easiest way to get down there. Here we go. No, we don't. It's not gonna it's not gonna work, is it? Alright. Fine, I'll use the dang map. Maybe this will... Okay, this does curve around. Now there are hostiles. Funny man sure does get himself into a whole heap of trouble.
So those guys are hostile for some reason. Boy, am I glad to see you. Yeah, you sure do get yourself in a whole no! fixed mess no, trouble. No! This is a little too visceral for me. Thanks, sport. You are a true American hero. You're the greatest American hero. What are you doing down here? Well, I just thought I'd see a little bit of the local color, you know. But mm. these gentlemen have seen to it that I've enjoyed the true hospitality of the frontier. Hey, uh, cigar? Let's get out of here. Right. I appreciate your help, sir. But now, I must continue on this path of discovery. <laughs> well, I mean, I managed to come down here without oh, actually agitating anybody. Even though there are hostels marked, found a little sneaky path out that didn't seem to bother them. Come on, keep going. It's turned into King's Quest. I'm like, very careful with my control inputs or we're going to fall to our deaths. There you go, funny man. I got you out of danger, I guess. Had you ridden with me, you'd be out of danger. Instead, you chose to wander off on your own. But I believe the quest is still considered um, funny man inactive. You ran into me again this time. Yep. American appetites. There was no evidence of the wife's whereabouts. Man sitting, a man sitting. And I know you. Okay, so these are... Just freeing them is good enough. We didn't have to kill anybody. So we get to preserve our honor and dignity. Alright, let's go do a mission for old uh, Seth. The original producer of the Taz show. refers to himself as the Kung Fu Jew, which Taz converted to the Kung Fu Jobber. That's right. Seth. Because there's only one person in the history of the world named Seth. Not Seth Rogen. Not Seth MacFarlane. Not Bonnie MacFarlane. Seth. Boy, I'm just ignoring lots of plants now. In fact, um, it's just about time to call it a video, I'm noticing now, so probably the best thing for us to do is to um, get real close to uh, the Seth mission, and uh, the Seth mission, it's a variant on the Taz mission, to get real close to Seth's mission starting point and then save our game, and he'll be at, uh, he's at the, that same cha Coots Chapel, I believe this place is called. There's a lot of graveyards in this game. Coots Chapel. So we can uh, have ourselves a nice little campsite. This is apparently either a town, a settlement, or a gang hideout. Is this far enough? Yes, that's far enough. Not all that picky. All right, folks, I'm going to call it a video. When we come back, um, we'll be ready for another fun uh, mission with our favorite grave robber on the Mysterious JG. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time for more of Red Dead Redemption. Bye-bye.